Good everyone. My name is Graphics. If you look at the front of the screen, there's a problem based on thermodynamics that is displayed there. And the problem goes like this. It says a mass of hydrogas is enclosed in a piston cylinder arrangement. The gas is compressed reversibly in such a manner that the pressure and volume are related to one another by the expression PV to the power of N equals to constant, where N has a constant value of 1.4. If the initial pressure and volume of the gas are 100 kN per meter square and 1 meter cube, respectively, and the final volume is 0.25 meter cube, determine the final pressure of the gas, the work done during the process, and uh, sketch the process on a PV diagram. Now, when you are given a question like this, the first thing you have to do is to write out your givens, your data, your parameters. Now, the data given here, we are given N to be 1.4, which is called the polytropic exponent or polytropic index. We are given the initial pressure of P1 to be 100 kN per meter square. We are given the volume, initial volume to be 1 meter cube. And we are given the final volume to be 0 0.25 meter cube. The final pressure is not given, so we are told to calculate for it. And the work transfer, the work done or the work transfer during this process is also not given, so we are told to calculate for it. So recall, for a polytropic process, there's a relationship between pressure and volume, which is given as P V to the power of N is equal to C. Right? Now, for process one to two, we are given we should be writing P1 V1 to the power of N is equal to P2 V2 to the power of N. Since we are finding final pressure, which is P2, we'll make P2 the subject of the formula from this relation that is this expression given above. So if you divide both sides by V2 to the power of N, you'll be having P1 V1 to the power of N all over V2 to the power of N divided by P2 V to the power of N all over V2 to the power of N. Now, in the right hand side, V2 to the power of N, we equate V to the power of N, we left with P. So, meaning my P will now be, be equals to P1 multiplied by V1 to the power of N all over V2 to the power of N. Right? Now, which can also be written as saying P1 times V1 to the power of N all over V2 to the power of N. Now in your indices, if you have A to the power of N all over B to the power of N, you will be having A over B all to the power of N, right? Since they have the same power, so the power will be attributed to everything there. Now in doing that, if I implement this, I'll be having P1 multiplied by v1 all over v2 all to the power of n that's what we'll be having now if i start inputting my parameters now we know my p1 is given as 100 multiplied by my v1 is given as 1 divided by my v2 is given as 0 0.25 all raised to the power of what n and my n given as what 1.4 now this will not be giving it giving us p2 will not be equal to 100 times 1 divided by 0 0.25 will give us 4. Then we will now have 4 to the power of what? 1.4. So if you punch your calculator, 4 to the power of 1.4 will give us 6.964. So we we'll see my P2 is equal to 100 times what? 6.964. Now when you multiply it, so my P2 which is given as the final pressure will now be given as 6.964. 0.4 kN per meter square. Now we've gotten the final pressure. Now we are told to also look for the work transfer. Now one thing you need to know the work um, transfer or the work done during the process, which is also called the work transfer. 
what you need to know when you're calculating for work transfer the total work transfer during expansion and compression process is given us w12 w subscript 12 or you say the work net is equals to the final pressure times the final volume minus the initial pressure times the initial volume all divided by the polytropic index n minus one right so if i input my parameters here i'll be having my p2 is 696.4 times my v2 is 0 0.25 right in bracket minus my p1 is given as 100 times my v1 is what one in another bracket all divided by 1.4 minus 1 now when you multiply 696.4 times 0 0.25 we're having 174.11 right and when you multiply 100 times we'll be having 100 so we're having 174.11 minus 100 all over 1.4 minus 1 is given as what? 0 0.4. So we are left with, if you subtract it, you'll be having 74 over 74.11 divided by 0 0.4. And our value here will be given as my work transfer or my work done during the process will now be positive 185.27 kilojoule. So that will be having there. Is that the key? So it means that what? Uh, the work, it means that what? The, the work was done on the fluid by the surrounding so there's a work input is that the key now so if you find this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching